Hello and welcome back uh, EuroLeague fans around the world. You're tuned in to the Underwater Rugby Channel broadcasting over the internet live from Belgrade. The next match coming up is between Tutsuna and Malsh. And the background of these two clubs in the EuroLeague is as follows. Tutsuna, they have played 24 games in the EuroLeague. They have 20 wins. They have one draw and three losses. They have scored 69 goals in the EuroLeague and they have surrendered just 21, giving them a positive goal differential of 48 goals. Mausch has played 27 games in the EuroLeague. They have won 16 of those. They've drawn two and they've lost nine. They have scored 60 goals and surrendered 34 giving them a positive goal differential of 26. These two teams have competed against each other twice and Tutsuna won both times and the last game was on the 27th of October in 2018. Tutsuna won that 1-0 and here you can watch the highlights from that game.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Allow me now to introduce to you, for the blue team, Mausch, wearing number two, Sasha Buscher. Number four, Martin Schottmiller. Number five, Jens Dingel. Number eight, Jürgen Scheer. Number nine, Christian Buschler. Number 10, Jochen Schottmiller. Number 11, Mikkel Wiesel. And a captain wearing number 14, Christian Provold. Number 15, Alexander Meeks. Number 23, Colin Lively. Number 24, Matthias Otten. And number 42, Fabian Vidali. On the other side of the pool, in white, Wearing number one for Tutsuner, Jonas Sanderson Pemin. Number two, Nikolai Mossing Matson. Number three, Sonnenbrunn. Number four, Mikkel Claudius. <laughs> Number five, Anders Hartmann. <laughs> and the captain, wearing number seven, Andreas Shegud Vilant. Number eight, Jakob Euler. <laughs> Number nine, Jakob Nedegord. <laughs> Number ten, Henrik Bibi Nielsen. <laughs> Number thirteen, Sven Erik Andersen. Number 18, Lauschutz. And the head coach is Gitte Madsen. On the other side, uh, on the, in the water, uh, the referees are Bob Robinson and Tommy Jeppesen. And on deck, Manuel Tito de Morris. Um, back on the air here in the booth. There was a little confusion there. I uh, introduced the players in white first instead of blue because the sheets of paper that I was handed were in the wrong order, and I didn't notice it until it it's was probably it was okay. a fact. Yeah, it's probably it was okay. okay. <laughs>
Okay. So we, we have here... The statistics uh, says that uh, Tucson won two games against March. Uh, but I'm not sure that this They've is going to... They've played almost the same amount of games. 24 for Tucson, 27 for March. March scored 60, Tucson 69. So it's a... Uh, it could well be a close game. Yes, I, I think... I'm going to go out on a limb and predict that Malsh is going to win. You think so? Yes. And I'll what do you base you, that on? I'll tell you why. Uh, <coughs> Malsh, they became German champions. Yeah. So they managed to eclipse <laughs> Bamberg. And, yeah. uh, and then I noticed that they only have uh, uh, 11 players for Tutsener. Yeah, so but uh, Malsh only has uh, 12. Right? I, I'm not saying that the, the player... No, the I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I, what I, the, the putting you on the line here. I, what I'm saying is it's interesting that when you come to a competition like this, you say, who wants to go? And then they don't have the last person filled in. There could be reasons for that. It could yeah, be that so you mean it's uh, possible that, uh, that they have some more players that do actually wouldn't deserve a spot in the team? Well, every club has players who wouldn't fit in in a situation like this that's no. that's not a uh, there's no doubt about that but what I mean is that just I'm just putting out those two reasons I don't have yeah. any I can't say that I've seen them practice or been watching their matches at home and who will you think uh, who do you think will uh, determine the game for a match Schottmiller the Schottmiller brothers are Dingle uh, Dingle's always dangerous yeah uh, so anyway that was my prediction yeah. and uh but uh, Tutsen has got uh, Wieland. They do. And Wieland uh, can come from above and score any time. Yeah. And uh, what else can you say? But uh, they're missing some uh, some players uh, from their winning season, right, Tutsen? Yeah, I think so. I can't... Greve. Yeah. He's not here. And he's maybe he's playing a for a flipper now. Is he? I don't know. He's a, he's a one of the world's best players, I think. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he used to be the captain, right? For yeah. And uh, even of the national team, wasn't he? No, I doubt it. No. Oh, yeah, speculation now. I think he was. <laughs> yeah. I think he was. Yeah. He was at least uh, the captain for Tutsuna. At least the captain for Tutsuna. Yeah. And uh, Jonas Sayers in Pemmin, I've seen in uh, Mamma Triton summer camp uh, once. So it's a younger player. No, no. Uh, he's, I guess, 40, around 40. But I, w I would definitely agree with you. But I mean, you see the stats are 18 games on Wieland, 11 goals and 14 passes. That's he's pretty good. Yeah, he's a, a key, key player. Yeah. But Also, uh, the question is, what effect has the uh, finish outside the medal placings that Graz had on the players from Denmark who are in the top? Does if you compare her to captain of the... Uh, Malsh, 24 games, 3 goals and 5 passes. Yeah. I don't think he's Broad. their mo most prolific scorer, no. No, maybe not. There are, of course, other uh, ways of influencing the game. Yes. Making an impact. It'll be a close game. It will be a close game for sure. Not many goals, I yeah. guess. Maybe 1 0. They'll be careful. Yeah. That yeah. could be. And Dingle will get to the ball first. You sure? Number five, Jens Dingle. Ah, Wieland. Wieland. Wieland's fast too. Fast and long arms. Andreas Wieland with the ball, passes down. To Mikkel Claris, number four. Still with the ball. Passes number 13. So to then Erik Andersson. Uh... Didn't Martin Run play with Tutsuna before? Nah, it's possible. Or was he? I've only faced Tutsuna once in a Champions uh, Cup, so I, I don't know their players very well. I think Martin Run played with them. Well, there are two Danish clubs that are, have been it's Flipper and Tutsuna. Oh, very good play here by Marsh. A lot of people around the basket. Malsh are very good at... Uh, oh, oh, it's the wrong pass away. there. Straight into the hands of Bebe. 
Pepe going up to Nielsen. the surface in the corning, corner, yeah, losing the ball, maybe recovering it again. It's very hard to see uh, in this uh, foggy water uh, here at the end of the day. Now they're at Owen. Uh, not nice to smash into that. Uh no, <laughs> not at all. That was uh, Schottmüller, yeah. Jöschen. So it's a struggle in the midfield here. It's uh, still two to him. Session he goes in against five mouse players. It's a bold move, but he's he uh, gives the ball, passes out to Mikael Claris again, going for in from above. And that's a strange tactics. The the mouse defender tried to hold down the the goalkeeper. I don't know if that uh, helps, but maybe it makes it heavier to lift the goalie up. Diesel in the scrum together with the Claris and also a Wieland who comes out with the ball is a Wieland intensive game so far yeah high, high energy a lot of elbows there from the Malsch player but it's a wide three throw Number four in uh, Tudsen with a long first shift, Mika Claris. They have to back a lot. <laughs> they tried to take the free throw at lane six instead of lane four. So. There's Malsch coming in from above, passing down in the middle. Can he serve his uh, teammate on the other side? No, it's intercepted. Oh, they don't the even see the ball. Loose. Yeah. Picked up by Tudsene. It's Mikael Claris again. Can he pass the ball? No, he <laughs> makes a clever move. Just keeps swimming by himself. Passes down to Euler. Euler with. No, it's. Uh, Nergard with all the ball. All the way to the other side of the the pool there. Yeah, that was a good move yeah. by uh, Claris. Go where there is Number nobody. Number 13, Andersen. Pass going above. Could he pass down? Now he's stripped from the ball by Marsh Prayer, but not fair, says the referee. Oh, actually, attack on the basket from the from a Tudsener player. So it's a German ball again. <coughs> High energy game so far. Absolutely. A tight game as uh, expected. So Malsch coming in with a lot of people around the baskets. Oh, oh. the defender's got it, right? No. Yeah, there he's got it. But can he get out? Passes the ball out. But the Malsch are forechecking really hard. It's very good. Well played by Malsch. I was holding. Holding absolutely. Vlant in control of the ball, passes forward. And there's a Tuts in the play going in against three Marsh mar players. <laughs> They'll just push him out of bounds here. Two Tuts in the player against one Marsh. Yeah, pushing it um, out of bounds. It's been a one of the most intense games uh, today, I think, so far. I, c I, I don't see how they can play at this energy level for the full, for the full game. Two periods. No. Uh, It's almost as if they're trying to establish dominance over the other team by making a super effort at the beginning. Yeah, it's uh, the first game of both for both of those teams. Referee ball. One of throws it in. And it's uh, Malch with the ball again. Swimming to the side and then back into the middle. Visa. Yeah, Wiesel. Wiesel's got the ball. Playing the German style. Swimming around. Back against the bottom. Leaving to its teammates. They're slowing it down now. As you said, they can't uh, continue with this uh, high intensity game for uh, for the entire game. No. So they're slowing it a bit down. 
Well, I, I know the Schopenhauer brothers, they like to attack from above, so they'll go on a surface, circulate, and then they'll come in, spin 360, and pass to somebody down on the side. You can see the similarity between uh, Malsch and uh, Krefeld. Uh, the, the play style, style. swimming around a lot, waiting yep. for uh, an opportunity. Putting it back towards the bottom of the pool. Oh, there's a Tudsene player holding the goal, the defender probably. It's it's very hard to play defender against a team like Malsch when they put in a lot of people around the goal. It's very hard for the defender to get an overview where the ball is and to move around. That's uh, I think they do really good in Malsch. The same free throw set up as uh, Flipper. Uh, you see there, they have a lot of players around the goal. But as long as Tutsune can uh, pick them up to the surface like this, uh, I think it's okay for them. But uh, if they miss out one time, it uh, could be a fast goal for, uh, for Malch. Provald coming in again. Yeah, they see a small space there. Wow. But uh, Tutsune attacker is uh, in the right spot. Is oh. it Zeeland with what? No, it's. Uh, Mikkel again, Mikkel Claris. Good by Tutsuna to Tutsuna move it holds over. on to the ball, number 13, Andersen. And they lose the ball. Mals, can they pick up some speed? No. Two Tutsuna players in the way. Claris again attacking hard. Claris out with the ball. Can you swim down? Claris has had a lot of ball possession this game so far. Well, maybe you should interview him afterwards to see what happens. Oh, they're coming in, Vilant. The captain. He drew the attention of three Malsh players. And now they're coming in from above again. Number two, Madsen. Can he hold on to the ball? Ah, oh, he loses it. It's probably choking. a stranglehold, yeah, choking. And the uh, Tutsuna will keep on attacking. This is the first time we see a Tutsuna really uh, deep into the Malsh zone. Number nine, Nergard. Uh, Tutsuna pushing in, but Malsh has a lot of people down. Taking the ball out again. And then going back in. Oh, Vilan, what an opportunity to come from above. But he couldn't grab the neck of the Malsh goalie. That's a great opportunity for. Look uh, how long he's held the ball, though. And now he's for Andreas it, Vilan, yeah. yeah. Just holds on to the ball. That's a, that's a good opportunity that you have to capitalize on a, in a tight game like this. Buchner with the ball. Is it Schottmiller again? Mar Martin Schottmiller with the ball there. Passes it down. Buchner again. Can you make something happen here? Players from Flipper. Flipper players, yeah. Wicht. Schottmiller. Schottmiller. Above. Schottmiller from above. He's got some players on him. Oh, it's a very strong move there from the Malsh player. That was take it about, <coughs> take it out again. That was a good example of a shot builder coming in, going to spinning 360 and then passing. That yeah, that's their number 40. Weidele with the ball there. Haven't seen much from him uh, in this he game so far. Buchner again. He's a less established player. But Leaving over to shot Miller. Yes. Letting the time go up to the surface. Tutsune doesn't seem to be uh, very interested in attacking there in the surface either, so. Now they're coming in, shot Miller to shot Miller. Probably a uh, Malsch player pushing there, yeah. yeah. That's Weidele pushing the goalie. So a close match as we thought it would be. Yeah, exciting game. And both both sides have been attacking. It's not as if it's dominated possession-wise or attack-wise. No, but I think maybe that uh, Malch has had uh, a bit more dangerous situations or more good opportunities close yeah. to the basket because they put in a lot of people. But the ball has never really been close. No. Because the Tutsun uh, defending attackers has been really good to just lock them up in the right position and uh, just uh, with the right timing. Float up to the surface. Yeah. So, uh,
We have uh, Tutsuna in possession, Anderson again. He's twisting, <coughs> turning. Nice. Can he pass the ball? Still holds on to it. Ah, oh, it drops down to a match defender. Oh, dangerous pass straight over. Number 11, uh, Wiesel. Attacked by uh, Wieland. They come full speed. I haven't seen Dingle yet. Have you? Uh. Not in an offensive place at least. Wiesel. And Schier was there also for Malch. They decide to take the ball out <coughs> again. They are not as intense uh, as in, the beginning, in their Malch. attacks as in the beginning, Malch. Oh, pass over to the other side. Good opportunity. Oh, he couldn't score. Very good opportunity for the Malch player there. Weidele. But it was good that he came Schier. out instead of getting stuck there. Absolutely. It was number nine there, uh, Fischler. They couldn't uh, yeah. capitalize there. And Wiesel again. They're under some pressure. Uh. Oh, is that a second warning for a blue team? Team warning. Holding the goal. The defenders are maybe a little bit insecure and have to hold the goal. This uh, could be a penalty throw in the for uh, Malsh in the long run. Could lead to or it two it. minutes if they do yeah. it again. Yeah. Even so. I, either decision is It's uh, on the same level as uh, almost as pushing the shoulder in the basket, I think. Yeah. Oh, here they come again. But the defender is right on time for Tudsene from above. Coming in, going into the defender. Now they have a good, good pressure here. Wiesel again. Leaving it over to number... Eight. Sheer. Leaving it over to Fischler. Fischler slowing it down a bit, holding on to the ball. Sheer again. Going in from top. above and change for the goalie. Number 24 there, Otten. We haven't seen anything from him yet this game. Oh. oh. And, uh, pick up the ball, but they can't swim anywhere because there's so many match players all over the place. So, Weiler yeah. passing down. I think they need a, well, she's got the a pressure finish on. now, but they need a finish. They're just playing around uh, Weidel again. Kicking or. I don't know if they're just hoping to get a. Roughing. Kicking, yeah. I think that the defenders uh, from Tudson now are really. Blue number nine, two minutes, kicking. Yeah, uh, Nergard. They, they're struggling. I think the defenders are struggling with all the people that are in uh, yeah. close to the basket from months. A lot of pressure. So let's see if uh, we can have a power play goal here. Separate the teams. Separate teams. Maybe uh, Malsh will uh, try to uh, to put in the six uh, top scoring players or something like that. And try to, uh, to get the set play going. Timeout. Timeout. It is taken by Malsh. Yeah. They uh, maybe they have a plan here. A good timeout, in your opinion? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it uh, can be really good, but. Uh, in the same time, you you leave Tudson with the opportunity to talk together and, uh, and to rest. To rest, yeah. And they probably need to rest more. Yeah, but if I mean, if Marsh has a good set play now, then it's absolutely correct to take the time out. But if they have no special plan, nah, I don't think uh, it might be better to to keep on uh, with the high intensity as they've had uh, last minute or so, because. For sure now Tudsene will put their best players, their best defensive players in the water as well, so... It's difficult to, to score an underwater rugby, that's just the truth. Absolutely. You see uh, Wieland giving instructions there. So who will be in the water? At least uh, 
Joschen Schottmüller, Provald Captain, number 23, Leibele. Got the opportunity here. And number nine, Förschler. Förschler. And still separated teams. The referees have something to talk about. I would love to see a set play here. Well, like my description, my prediction will be Schottmüller spins 360 as he heads in from above. One of them. Doing it by himself. And then he passes to a teammate down by the, the left side of the basket. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, they put in a block and uh, maybe Schottmüller passes over to the other side and uh, they score from uh, from below. That's my... Uh yeah, yeah, from the from below is more likely because they, yeah. they open it up by attacking and, uh, from I above. I think Tudson has defended really well on the attacks from above. Yeah. So uh, I think that uh, Mal should try to to use the blocks that they're uh, To come facing. from below, you mean? Yeah, but yeah. Th they have blocks, so they should use them more. There's no point in blocking the defender if you're still attacking from above, mm. in my opinion. But uh, of course they forced uh, they forced the two-minute uh, suspension now. But uh they put the ball in the play already. We didn't see how that, but they've gone to the side. Into okay. the corner, and there we see the block. But there are two defenders down from Tudson. He takes his foot. A lot of mileage players down, but they're not doing anything yet. Passing back. Schottmüller, Martin Schottmüller, struggling. Two, still two defenders from Tudson and down. It looks like the attacker. Claris. So far, they haven't made a. a yeah, there's the pass to the other yeah. side, and goal. there's the goal. Yeah. First leg. So they had a plan. So this is the set attack you were looking for, close to what you predicted. Yeah, yeah. almost. Yeah. It was a good pass and uh, a good goal. And they had a player down at the bottom blocking the movement of the, the back? Yeah. And maybe it was in the middle of a shift for the attacker for uh, Tudsina maybe. So Christian Forsler... Uh, He's a national team player. Scores the first goal of the game. Let's see that again on the replay. Yeah, it's just a fast pass, but there is no block really, but... Uh, yeah, there's a block there. So yeah. the but I mean the and Vieland is a little bit late down. But the the defender that was in place, I thought I think it was uh, Sven Erik Andersen. He didn't know where the ball were were so it was. So that uh, that was a big problem there. And the visibility is not good. No, so of course not. Maybe he couldn't even see the the player. They say that we have a bit better visibility here with a camera than the they players do. have. Yeah. Yes, I heard that as well. Actually, so there's Dingle for the first time I saw him. And number four, Claris again, trying to make an impact. Could he get the ball in? Uh, yes, two. Oh, but there are three, four Malsh players showing up in the right moment there. Back into the corner. Seems like Tudson maybe got a little bit of an uh, energy there, energy boost from. Uh, uh, Going down a goal. Yeah. Two Tutsin players in the same spot. Ball up on the surface. Controlled by Tutsin. Anyone to pass? Yeah, there you go. To number eight in Tutsin. Oh, but it's snatched away by uh, Malsh. Up in the surface. Oh, oh fast there break. There go, number eight. Schier. Who's Weidler? Weidler. And Wiesle. Wiesel. As I would see there in the corner, waiting for the right opportunity to attack. Wiesel. Schottmüller. Schottmüller goes from above, up below, trying to find Wiesel. On the other side, goes in by himself. Weidler. Weidler with the ball. He goes in by himself, and he. Of course, no? No. Oh, <laughs> that was a crazy save by number 18 uh, in Tudsena, Lao Schutz. Crazy save, just 
snatched the ball right when he was trying to put it in the basket. And here we have Vidlant. Could he come in on one one? Ah, uh, he gets picked up by the Malish attacker. Maybe attack on the head. That was a good couple of minutes there for uh, Tutsuna. Yeah. They seem to be trying to take back uh, their often fate. Their fate belonged to them instead of. Uh, That's uh, often what happens when you when you let in a goal. You have a couple of minutes where you have the opportunity to to fight back. But uh, usually that wears off after a few minutes. Yeah, it's a psychological uh, phenomenon that you, yeah. an observation. Yeah. Yeah. Time out for uh, Malsh. Time out. Maybe just to get some rest now. You have one time out in each uh, half. Provald, yeah, one time at each half. So they will just wanted to use it to maybe break up uh, a bit of Tudsen's momentum now. Martin Schottmüller said something, but they're not—they're uh, they not talking. No, it, I don't. I think it's only to to get some air. Yeah. Yeah. And to stop the momentum from yeah. uh, from Tutsuna. Yeah. Henrik Baby Nissen holds up one finger. Doesn't seem that uh, Tutsuna has a lot to talk about either. No. So. And I don't think for Tutsuna that a set play is what what will do it for them. They they need to just hold on to the ball and keep working think and working. I think it's I uh, think it's an individual effort v from uh, Vland coming Vland, in from above. Yeah. Is yeah, but I mean he had one opportunity and he didn't capitalize on no. it. So depends if uh, he's uh, really in the zone or maybe it's not his best game. We'll see. Maybe we'll go to the penalty shootouts. Uh, the score is uh, one one zero in favor of. Uh, yeah, still, but uh, if Vilan scores. Yeah, yeah, sure. It can uh, it can happen. Yeah. Ties, can ties the game. Vilan with the ball, loses it. Oh, there's uh, such an intense uh, scrum there. Passes down, attacked immediately by Vilan. Ball out of bounds. Should be uh, choking. Tudsuna ball. Is that a bounce? Okay. Yeah. Uh, free throw for uh, Tutsuna. So. There's the ball. Anderson. Could he get it into the other side? He tries. On the below on the same side. Oh. On the same side. Oh, there's so many Malsh players. They're doing a fantastic job in the defense, Malsh. That forechecking was uh, two, two on one. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. But Vilan's straight under the scrum. He gets the ball. Can he make something happen there? Uh, He's got those long arms. Oh, yep. a twist in the turn, but Malsh got the ball now. That was a good try from Tutsuna. Strangling. Yeah, yep. good call from Kaiser Lindman there. From so this uh, game is turning out qu quite uh, according to our original predictions. Yeah, or Miles in the lead, as yeah. you predicted. And a close game. <coughs> and Low close scoring. Game. Absolutely. Henrik Bibi Nielsen, number 10, the Danish junior national coach. He's also for been for better before, right? Uh, he played with Beta One for a while, and then yeah. he was, he was uh, sort of fired or... If you make one mistake in, in, or you're perceived to have made a mistake in beta, that could be the end of your career. Yeah. <laughs> Ball goes out. Shot Miller gets some fins in his head. Doesn't care. Pass over to the other side. Oh. And. Mal still with the ball. Attack from above. Oh, he tried could to pass, pass it over. over to the other side. Oh, there's a. Uh, Completely. Uh, he bounced it off the <laughs> the head of number ten. That's uh, that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the first half. Maybe oh, he could. Yeah. If we only could have lifted the ball around to his teammate there on the other it side. It would have. It would have been a good chance to score. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we haven't seen too many chances. No. Too many really dangerous uh, chances. Uh, Malch has had uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. 
But Tudson is, uh, defense has been uh, solid, I would say. A good game. A good game so far, and uh, let's hope for some more uh, more goals in the next half. Yes, and uh, we're going to have highlights soon, or? No, no it's a minute or so. So, do you, you know about the, the, the EuroLeague uh, halftime challenge after do 20 push-ups at home? while you're waiting for the action to begin. Yeah. I'd love you to know. Yeah. Davril has already done 100 push-ups No, I, I've actually only done 40. 40 only? Yeah. I should go do another 20 now. I've done 80. You've done 80? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll have to catch up. Uh. Highlights. All right.
after some uh, conferring, the referees decided it would be a uh, and a penalty, two minutes for uh, for holding the basket. I think that will be a big disadvantage for them now, coming into the second half, one man short. And Schottmüller snatches the ball, past the Fischler, the goal scorer. Fischler. Uh, Malsch, can they make something out of this power play that scored in the last one? Schottmüller going in from the side, floating up. Provald with the ball, up to the surface again, passing down, letting the ball go now. Jørgen Schottmüller, passing down, Dingel, come on Dingel, can you do something now? Shooting in towards the goal, passing down, snatched off by uh, Andreas Wieland. Wieland swimming over to the other side, he's got one player hanging his legs, two players on him, still holding on to the ball, impressive, the third Malsch player coming in. And then he loses the ball. Very good uh, move there by Andreas Wieland. Bubbles, bubbles. Number eight for Malsch. Schier. But uh, Tudsen is back in possession. With number ten, Bebe Nilsen. Tudsen with the ball. Only 10 seconds remaining on the two minute suspension. Tudsen with the ball in the corner, attacked by two Malsch players. And there the penalty is over. Malsch regained possession. Who was sent out and what for? I'm, I'm back. Yeah, it was uh, a nail guard, I think, who was sent out for. Uh, uh, holding the basket, I think. Okay. In defense. Hey, wait, they they already. Oh, that's right. They had a warning before they did it again. No, I, the the this second half started with that. But uh, nothing dangerous happened on the during the the penalty. I mean, they had a warning in the first half, didn't they, for holding the basket? Yeah, yeah. So now I have number one, Sayers and Permin. Oh. Oh, good, good they made created space underneath. Yeah. But what is this now? Pushing. They're pushing the goalie. Holding. Yeah. yeah. Pushing, yeah. But I, I think, honestly, that if, you, if you're behind and you need to create an uh, opportunity, maybe you're going to have to play on the edge. You have to take some risks, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's still 1-0. Uh, still Shot Miller passes back again. I, I, do you like this kind of free throw with the behind? I don't know. Maybe when it's this visibility is uh, so low, then it could be effective because uh, the other players won't know where the ball is. But uh, yeah, if you do it every time, it's no surprise. Yeah. So Tudson with the ball. They've had a little bit more possession now in the in the second half, even if they had. Uh, one player in the penalty box. Still with the ball, Tutsuna. Oh, hey, got oh, it. There, there it is. Oh, there's, there's, the it is. there's the goal. One one. Jakob Nerland with a kind of a Marla move. There we go. And we have an even game. It didn't come out of nowhere. Uh, they've had some uh, possession. Uh, so uh, I think it's a bad start uh, on the period from uh, from Malsch here. Seems that they didn't go in uh, full speed as they uh, they ended the first half. Oh, they want to challenge. They want to challenge. Jakob Euler. No, but it's number nine there, so it's not Jakob Euler. No. It's uh, Jakob Negard. He's number nine. Okay. That's him. <coughs> okay, Let's here see. it is. It's Wieland goes into number nine, but I don't see what they should uh, challenge here, really. I, I think they would be saying that he pushed the goalie. Nah, no. but he was just lying there. Yeah. In my opinion, but. Uh, I don't think they'll get this one. 
I would be surprised if they got this one, really. But we don't know what, we it, don't know. what the basis was for it. We don't know what they wanted uh, them to look at, but uh, to me, I uh, think it's a good goal. And this is a close game, and so really what uh, Malch has to think about is uh, scoring again, and yeah. not to get a but they might have wasted an uh, important timeout. I, um, I don't think they would... Uh, they would challenge if they didn't think that there was something wrong, but I don't see... Maybe oh. he pushed the defender out something, but it looked more like Wieland grabbed the defender and delivered the pass, so... Okay, uh, here. Let's see again... What... The defender has got the ball. Twists and turns, Jochen Schottmüller. Oh, he's hold. He's claiming he held nah, him. Nah, nah, that can't be. They're holding on to each other. Can that be the what they're looking at? Okay. Is that the thing? Yeah, he was holding him. Nah, but that's something that happens all the time. Yeah. Ah, uh, that would be sad if they uh, played on such as technicality. Yeah, it didn't seem. To me, like, uh, is it that they bring uh, Joshua and Schottmuller up with him when he loses the ball? Is that it? I think a little bit, but I. Uh, okay, so now he, he he twists free. This is afterwards. Yeah, there's a good goal. There's yep. a good goal. I don't see uh, what the problem could have been there, but uh, it's a good goal. It wasn't enough, whatever it was. Yeah, whatever it was, it was not enough, and uh, we have a equal game here. A tied game. So, only four and a half minutes passed in the first game. Let's see if this can uh, give Malch an energy injection to, to really come back and continue to play the the good game as they did in the beginning of the first half where they came in with a lot of energy. But here's the Tutsina with the ball. Passing down. Mars back in possession. Attacked by Tutsina. Mm -hmm. Pass between. Yeah, we have Dingle. Dingle, Dingle, Dingle. He scores an open basket. I think it was Jens Dingle. Yeah. That was surprising. What a fast backlash for them. No, it was Schottmiller. Schottmiller. Was it? Was it Schottmiller? Yeah, number four, Martin Schottmiller. It was hard to see. It was a, f it was a fast swim, that's for sure. Five. No, it was Dingle. 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 It was yeah. Dingle, yeah. I could see it in his way of swimming. It yeah. was uh, Dingle. Dingle the swimmer. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> what a mistake. And there you see what I was talking about. Yeah. When you let in a goal, then you have some minutes of energy where you can fight back. And that's yeah. exactly what they did. And Dingle's a happy guy. He loves. He's he's always smiling. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Now and now, can Tutsina fight back? Yeah. <laughs> this is the most uh, goals that has been in ever in the game between those two teams. So. This is exciting. If uh, this is a good game, it's it's uh, been enjoyable to watch. It's a good game, but that goal, Tutsina cannot allow that such uh, such goal where he was allowed to swim over the whole pool almost but it's a small score. pool he's fast yeah so and a bad visibility but still yeah. uh, I don't think it's uh, yeah you have to be safer there as a as a goalkeeper when it's this bad visibility you just have to dive when you see a white shadow coming against you it's uh, yeah. even the forwards have to uh, yeah you have to be down and close to the forward is the position that uh, Tutsuner has one less of, right? They have three, f just three forwards in this game. Yeah, probably they play with three goalkeepers. I would guess that's the normal thing to do, but uh, because forwards work more intensely. Yes. So, uh, uh control now. Passing up to Wiesel, Wiesel twisting and turning, going up to the surface. Attacked, uh, Sprovald. Oh, this, this is, now this is good uh, for... They've increased the intensity yeah. now. Uh, and woke up really mal. Schottmiller, Schottmiller scores again. No? Goal? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. <coughs> uh, 
Yeah, uh, you can see that Malch, uh, they're playing with a lot of uh, energy right now and it uh, pays off. It was a nice goal by uh, Martin uh, Schottmiller. You see, grabs the head and oh, pushes in on the side. Yeah, that's a good goal. Well, I mean, that, that's what I was trying to explain in the last game for uh, Krefeld. That uh, they should go in more straight into the basket, get a chance, and then maybe uh, the second chance in the second wave or something like that. It takes too long to, to make the final move into the basket, but uh, Malch is doing it really good here. Number two leaves it over to Bebe Nilsson, coming in from Bab, passing oh, to no one. Oh, now another. Another dingle, dingle, dingle. Can he get on a fast break? No. Attacked hard by two Tudsina players, taking it up to the surface. Do we have a scrum? No. One thing that uh, I noticed about a lot of the players on the uh, Marsh team is that they have a habit of holding the ball in tight next to their body and then to pass it, they, they fling their arm out so that they, they go from a protected ball to a pass very yeah, but Suddenly. it limits the length uh, of, of the, the pass. pass. Yeah. yeah. It's maybe sad not to be able to see this game better uh, due to the water uh, yeah. quality. And we even have uh, three, two games left after this. In, and the quality is not getting better. No. And oh. we have Dingle again. Dingle against uh, Wieland. Dingle up on the surface. Can I get the ball down to his teammates? Yeah, uh, there they have it. Uh, Is it shot Miller? It's a lot of energy going here now. Yeah, leaves it over there in the corner. Really, they Bausch needs to get another goal in order to make this really safe. I mean, three yeah. three one is a three one's a good. But as long as they keep uh, keep on playing like they have done the last uh, three four minutes, I think they're safe. They're safe, yeah. Yeah, but if they lower the intensity again. And invites uh, Tutsen in, then uh, anything can happen. But uh, Tutsen needs to go now. Bebe, can he make something out of nothing? Bebe passes. They have the ball in the corner. Tutsen in control. Good by Tutsen. Uh, good by Tutsen. But it, oh, it's read the pass yesterday's newspaper. It's uh, too easy. And they're locked up. Locked up. But it's a bit too easy by Jakob Euler there. The Malsh defender knows exactly what he's going to do and just like picking berries there. Oh, sw he swims to the corner. I think that's a good move. Yeah, they... They don't need to rush. No, they need to rush. They know the game is uh, kind of over as long as they just hold on to the ball. So it's an, uh, they have to be desperate, but I don't see... Well, they, they have to chase it down. They have to chase yeah, them but down. But that's not the strength, I think, of uh, Tudsen as no. uh, defending attackers. They've done it really g well, close to the basket. But out there, I don't see that they have snatched a lot of balls. No, uh, especially if they lie down on their back. Yeah. The, the, yeah. well, they, they got it there, but this for lost there are three yeah. match players around him, so yeah. he can't do anything. Yeah. No, I think that... Uh, I don't think that we will see any more goals in this game, actually. Probably Maus will just hold on to the ball in the corner for the rest of the time. We can play, do the Norwegian bicycle. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they're, yes. they're doing it now. Yeah, just playing around. Yeah. Between the legs, taking it out. Uh, you have to do like that, that the Toots and the player there. You have to... Aggressively go. Out yeah. and, uh, but they're going to have trouble intercept. holding on to it. Yeah, yeah, and then you have this kind of risk. Uh, another goal. For Schottmiller. Uh, uh, no goal, but. Uh, the basket shifts attempt. out into the middle. Uh, good attempt. Fast break by Tudsen. Mm. From above. From above. Uh, sloppy pass. Uh, Easily collected by Mal. Too much. Uh, Yeah, those passes, th they, d they don't work out on the, on the highest level of play. Those 50-50 uh, chance passes, the, the best defenders in the world are better. Yeah. It's too easy for them to read it. So, yeah, I've seen uh, 
A bit too many of those passes from Tutsuna today. They drop down right into the arms yeah, of the back. Like yeah, like 50-50 uh, passes. <laughs> now you can see a typical German hide the ball behind his back. It worked out this time. Oh, nice pass across. Yeah, now back into the corner. Nice oh, corner. not good, not good for Tutsuna. This is very frustrating for Tutsuna, of course. Yeah. They're faking attacks and then going out to the corner again, faking another attack. So the defender and goalie, they don't dare to leave the position. Yeah, they're doing it very good here, Malsh. Yeah. I think. Just... Uh, it's like a, if the Norwegian women's national team get the ball and they have an advantage, they just go into the corner, you're not going to get it back. No. Yeah, but I mean, either it looks like Tudson has given up the game because they're not even attacking, not even trying. I mean, they should—they have nothing to lose. They should try to practice this uh, uh, going out, uh, hunting with all. They all need a, a, a back and a forward to go at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. To do the sister move. But uh, they could—they could have another score again. Oh, now they've got the ball. Yeah. Uh, and a legitimate chance to but swim out. He's alone and probably yeah. against three players. So yeah. They're going forward. Yeah, going forward, but can they create something? Yeah. He's Permin dropping the ball down to uh, to Tuna player. Can he drop it further down? Yeah, that's the 50-50 pass again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're putting in a big effort, but... Um, yeah. And also, it's very frustrating to lose the ball when you know how... They will hard take it was to get it, yeah. Two minutes to yeah. get it back. And there's only two minutes left, so you predicted no more scores in this game, and I think it's going to play out that way. If a score comes, it's more likely that to be Malsh will on add an another basket. one. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that Tutsuna has uh, not played desperate enough uh, after the two, two, one, and three, one goals. But of course, after the one-one goal, uh, the tingle in the empty basket is uh, that was a, a, a that hard. Uh, yeah, that really knocked. Uh, yeah. It was like a baseball bat hitting them. Yeah. When you worked hard and get uh, yeah, the get equalizer, the yeah. equalizer, and then uh, only seconds later you you let one in an empty basket. It's very yeah. de demoralizing. Absolutely. All empty basket goals feel horrible because you see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A warning. Warning, white number nine for delaying the game. Alexander Wicht. Okay. Maybe he threw the ball down somewhere, or what did he do? Not put it in mm, play? Yeah, maybe we're trying to hide the ball or something. Yeah. Shot middle. They're too, they're too skilled, the Malsh players. They're too skilled to to let uh, Tutsuna take back the into ball this game. Yeah. Yep. yeah, back into this game, but even to borrow the ball, I think. Yeah, but there you go. Wieland with the ball, but maybe attack on the head. Uh, the clock should have stopped there, but we holding. And I think also maybe uh, all the other teams are a bit more uh, more aware of uh, number seven in Tudson Andreas Villan now. Yeah. When he uh, first came into the Euroleague uh, with Tudson and they won, not many players were aware of his uh, skills. So. And the level of play is not going down. It's if anything, it's Man, maybe his game has not gone up in the same uh, trajectory as, yeah. uh, trajectory as, uh, as the general level of the league. Tudsena, Vilant, can they make something happen? But the Malch has a lot of players now. 
many players close to the situations. One less than one minute remaining in the game. Yeah. That I only seen German players do that, swimming with the ball in front of the head, with two hands protecting the ball with straight arms. Uh, it's, uh, Maybe to lower the water assistance or something. Aye. Here they go. Can I score a final goal? Nah, they don't seem very interested in scoring anymore. Only seconds left now. So are you going to interview Dingle? <laughs> <laughs> Do the viewers want to, to hear the opinion of uh, Dingle of the game? Well, I don't... I can interview. You choose. You choose. I can. I can interview Jingle. Yeah. So first history, first win in the history for Malsh against uh, Tutsune. Yeah. Yep. 